Hey Primary 5 Math Rogies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So today we're moving on again to triangles, my most favorite, most easy, the most easy to see answer in the world, okay? So let's go to triangles. Yesterday's question was, let's take a look here. The perimeter of a triangle is 30 cm. Find its area. And the answer is 45 cm squared. If you got it right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So, how do we do this question? It's very, very simple, okay? The answer is 45 cm squared. But first, let's do a little step by step. Step one, find out what is the perimeter of a triangle. It's 30 cm. The perimeter, again, as you can see here, there is a plus sign. When there's a plus sign, it just means that you add up all the different sides. So, you take a look at this. The perimeter of a triangle is 30 cm. You have 11 cm here. Oops, sorry. You have 11 cm here. You have 10 cm here. So find out the missing blank. And remember that perimeter, I'm just going to write it in P, okay? Perimeter equals to, you can just name this whatever you want, okay? You can name this X, you can name this Y, you can name this the Z, or whatever you want. I'm going to name this as X, okay? Because we don't know what X is. It could be apples for all you want. So P equals to X plus 11 plus 10, which equals to 30 X plus 21. Therefore, x equals to 30 minus 21, which is equal to what? 9. Now, this is using the algebra method. Now, I don't know whether you've learned algebra yet, but let's say you have not learned algebra yet, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to very, very slowly work out the answers. And it's the same thing. You're going to get the same thing, okay? So, let me just show you how to do this very quickly. Take a look here. Let's say that we don't call this x anymore, okay? We just call it the height, so we say um, the height equals to 30 minus 11 minus 10, which is equal to what? 9 cm. And now you find out that the height is actually 9 cm. How do you find the area? Area, remember, is always multiply. Area, look here, area is multiply. So what we do is, what do you multiply? We multiply this, the base, sorry, the base times the height and we must make sure that it is half. Why? Because a triangle is always half of a square or a rectangle. So you can see here, I'm going to draw it for you. Oops, a bit slow here. Okay, go here. So it is actually half of a... Oh, very bad. <laughs> it's very. It's a half of a rectangle of a square. Or, so what we're going to do is we're going to write area is equals to... Let's write the formula first. Half times base times height. In this case, the base is what? 10. So half times 10 times 9. What is 10 times 9? 90. What is half times 90? It's 45 cm squared. And that is the answer for this question. If you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So that question is out of the way. We know the basics of math, uh, or basic of triangle now. I'm going to give you the question of the day. The question of the day is, in the figure below, the shaded area is one third the area of triangle XYZ. What is the tri area of triangle XYZ? Hold on, I, I haven't shaded it for you. Let me just take my book here very quickly. Um, the area that is shaded is this part. Okay, I'm going to color it for you here. I'm going to use the color red. Okay, so this is the shaded area. Oops. Why is it not coming out? Okay see very quickly okay here you go so this is the shaded area that means the triangle outside okay this is the shaded area the whole thing here is a shaded area okay shaded area okay cool so this is the shaded area so it says that the shaded area is one third that means one out of three parts the area of triangle XYZ what does that mean? That means this one inside is actually how much? It's actually, yes, two-thirds. Okay, I'm not going to give you so many clues right now, <laughs> but in the figure below, the shaded area is one-third the area of triangle X, Y, Z. What is the area of triangle X, Y, Z? Very, very, very easy, okay? So with that, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to make sure you do this question by yourself. Make sure you got it right. Make sure you get it right. And... Um, I'm going to leave you with the quote of the week, okay? This is our second last question for the week. 
and the quote of the week is line by line, the answer is mine. If you do it step by step, you read the question line by line, the answer will be what? Yours. So with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.